So it's a continuation of the season three meta with a focus on the close range meta. You kind of see how it lays out there from the various weapons. If you're interested in sniper support, let me know in the comments and we'll go ahead and kind of do that one as soon as possible. And even though I think the long range meta is a little bit more open, we're going to focus on some great options to use for close range if you're tired of using the exact same weapons that you've been using since the game came out. So first off, we'll go ahead and start off with our alt close meta. And this is more of an honorable mention. It does compete, as you'll see, with the numbers on the side of the screen, kind of talking a little bit about the aim down sight and TTK. So you kind of have a reference point along with all the tunings. Uh, the Chimera is one of those weapons that's going to kill fast. It aims down sight of around the same thing. So you can kind of see how the attachments are laid out there. A lot of these builds are built specifically for close range, which is an emphasis on aim down sight, sprint to fire, strafe speed, and kind of, it, it, that all ends up hurting your recoil. So you kind of got to just take it for what it is and deal with that as much as you can. And I tried to balance these out as much as you can. You kind of see how this one looks when we go ahead and go to the firing range. The first target is at 10 meters and the second is at 25. You can see relatively easy to hit. Obviously the 51, it gets a little bit too jumpy for me. I would have to kind of like tap fire for a target that range. If you have better recoil control than that, more power to you. But the first two targets are taken care of. And you can see, obviously, those stats for this weapon. So it is very competitive. And I think almost slept on for that regard. But we'll kind of see how that pans out. It kills as fast or faster than pretty much everything in the game at close range. And on top of that, it actually has more range than some of the weapons we're going to see on today's list that are a little bit more popular. Next up is the Cast Off 74U along with the MX9. As you can see there, I'm building the Cast Off for close range. It is a rifle, so it does have some of the properties associated with that. But it is a little bit on the faster end, so it allows it to compete but you kind of see it has a little bit of an inconsistency problem with ttk and the mx9 this would also be another front runner but mag is kind of small so you're kind of limited on how you're going to play with this thing you could probably pull it off definitely in solos and duos but above that you're going to have to make sure you have fast hands you're going to get in tricky situations make sure you're using throwing knives for the finish uh, but we'll go ahead and start all that off with the mx9 kind of see how it's built out there behind my camera is the ftac c11 riser which you can see on that little thing on the other end which has all the attachments so this is how it will look in game you'll see it is low recoil like pretty easy to control nice little looking iron sights but again you only have 32 bullets and that is the absolute max you can run on this thing, unfortunately. It is next in line in terms of TTK when you see that number and then now the cast off, which has always been one of those ones that it was meta and multiplayer and it's kind of one of those things, super easy to use, pros used it. It gets a little bit better bullet velocity so the, the bullets kind of track a little bit better. Uh, but since you're building everything for close range, the recoil will be typically a little bit harder than, than it would be for a weapon when you build it out for sniper support. So definitely worth trying if you're bored with the other ones. But out of the two, I think the MX-9 is a little bit better just because of the consistency in TTK. When we get to the buffed should try, they haven't really overtaken the meta because of the inconsistency in TTKs, but I think they have a lot of opportunity. With the individual builds you're gonna see, they're gonna be with the largest mag on the Vel 46. You could drop this down to get a little better aim down sight, and you know even further if you wanna get even better movement. But the penalties that they've had before, the, the changes they made in the season three, allowed these to be a little bit more viable and even better with a slightly smaller mag if you don't decide to go for the full thing. So for the Vel, this one a lot of people really enjoy. I think you can get away with the 50 on this thing. 30 eh, is kind of pushing it, but that one comes down to a skill issue at the end of the day. So 60, more than enough. But if you're going to be playing trios or less, probably 50 or less is fine with this one. But the stats you see on the screen is for this individual build right here. And then we go ahead and kind of see this. Pretty straightforward, easy to use. And there's the target. And we've only went through 22 bullets there for two targets at those individual ranges. It's so pretty straightforward. Then we got the PDSW, which has great bullet velocity. Uh, it has decent iron sights. And you kind of see how that is all built out there. And overall, one of those guns that's a little bit slower base-wise. So you kind of have to build everything for sprint to fire and ADS speed. Pretty easy to use. Gets a little bit wobbly after a few shots. But hopefully the person's dead by the time you get to that 
a little bit harder than usual wobble to control, uh, but you should be good at the close range as you can see how it competes in terms of aiding down sight and TTK. And that's gonna bring us to ride and true. This is the meta. Some people prefer one over the other, Personally, I like the Lockman sub just a little bit better. I think the damage per mag's nice to have. It is tend to be slower almost regardless of what build you do uh, if you want to be able to manage the recoil. The Vaznev, nice mobility, relatively easy to use. I personally don't like the Shake as much, but people do love the Vaznev. So I think both of these are really up there. And as you'll see with the TTKs, very competitive and the best out of the bunch besides that Chimera ties up with the Lockman sub for the fastest submachine guns currently within the game. So for the build for this, you kind of see this one. This is one I've had for a while. We were going with the 40 round mag for a little bit better aim down sight, but with the changes they made in season three, you can still run the 50 and get away with that or go with the 40 and you still end up being faster. So pretty easy to use. Pretty straightforward. We take out both of those targets with ease. And then we get to the Vaznev, which you'll see kind of built out here. Pretty much all set up, straightforward. Uh, and this is kind of a similar build that we've had for a little bit of a while now. And it's kind of built there for you get your little bit of strafe speed, you get your little bit of movement, and all that good stuff. Let me know what you'd like to see next. Probably sniper support. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.